In this video, I'll mount the saddlebags that house the electronics and install the lead screws and motors. I have attached the controller and power unit to their mount plates and will attach it to the underside of the extrusion. Here's the actual footage of me using my phone as a mirror to place the screw. Using the cover plate, align and tighten the mount plate. These cover plates are mounted temporarily as they'll need to be removed when ready to wire up the electronics. Next, install the bearing block and tensioner plate on the rear leg of the table. Placing the bearing block cover under the tensioner plate avoids any damage to the powder coat. This was actually a great suggestion by another owner. Since this machine is dual drive, there's no need for this hole. We can cover it with one of the finisher plates. Next, assemble the bearing blocks for the front legs. Leave the bolts for the bracket hand tight as they will need to be adjusted later. Partially thread the nuts onto two of the fasteners that will hold the brackets. Add the other fasteners and tighten. Now to run in the lead screw. Thread on the lead nut. Ideally, the screw goes in this end and presses out the cork. 
This method protects the thread and the anti-backlash feature of the nut. Do not forget to make sure the set screw and collar are tight on the lead nut. Repeat these steps for the other side. Check the lead screw for any bends and swap if necessary. Attach the coupler to the motor and space it about a sixteenth of an inch from the body of the stepper. Here you'll see how the coupler is self-centering. Tighten the fasteners holding the motor and motor mount. Then tighten the bearing blocks. Add the tensioner plate and nest the fasteners into the holes in the guide plate. Next, add the thrust washers. Then add the shaft coupler, smooth side in. Pull out as much potential backlash as you can before tightening the shaft collar. Next, we'll take up any additional slack by using the tensioner plate. Do this in an X pattern, but do not over tighten as it can cause the thrust washer to bind. Now that the base is complete, in the next video I will start assembling the gantry.